Matthew chapter 3, verse 10. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. I want to give infinite honors to Yahweh by Shemi Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rather their double honors. And salutation to you, sincere Akim, my fellow laborers in Yahweh Shai, pushing his truth with all fear and trembling. All right. I brought out that passage um, because um, the spirit of Yahweh by Shemi Shai was moving heavy on Elder um, Tahar yesterday and Elder Gabor when they put out those decrees and they uh, told, uh, told us to tighten up who we let in camp. And because uh, it got bug outs that have, have crept in. And uh, another thing that he said, brothers that's been in this truth, that have been slothful and lazy and not growing in this truth, all right, that uh, they have to tighten up a catch they cut. And that's scripture. The scripture plainly says, if you don't bear for fruit, grow, that you get thrown in the fire. So when Elder Taha put out those decrees, all right, that's, he's not speaking of his own accord. That's the spirit, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh on his body. And the Most High is tightening up his body. He's, he's purging his men. He's cleansing his men. He's perfecting his men, all right? So he's tightening up their yoke, all right, so we can stay on the narrow path and don't go off to the right and to the left. So when we're in this truth, we have to grow, man. We can't be where we was last year, a year past, and then we're still on that same level, all right? This truth, in this truth, you have to evolve. You go from glory to glory. You, we're conquered. The scriptures say we're more than conquerors, all right? You beat one demon, then you got a horde of demons waiting on you for you to go come conquer them, all right? Things that used to have power over you, you learn to conquer it. When wisdom gets on you, it immortalizes you, and you learn how to move in this society of great darkness that are full of trials and dire straits, all right? And all that comes with growth and applying yourself and seeking your high by Shemal Shah. All right, let me get this. This passage is Colossians. This is Colossians chapter 1, verse 9, and it reads, for this cause we also, since the day we heard it, did not cease to pray for you and to desire that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. So Paul was talking to new brothers. He, when he wrote this letter to the Colossians, he was, he was building them up. He was guiding them. He was being a beautiful older brother. All right. And he was telling them uh, that that he was praying that they grow and be filled with the knowledge of Yahweh Shema's will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. That's what we have to do. And if they are not doing that, they're going to get excommunicated. OK, that's that's what has to happen when you come in this truth. You have to grow. The only way you could uh, bring forth fruit. All right. Is by growing in this truth you have to we our older brothers are examples to us and we're going to be examples to younger brothers that come in that's what you call building up the kingdom of heaven man okay and another another way you grow is first you uh, have a self-analysis of yourself all right the scriptures say work out your own salvation with fear and trembling all right have a self-analysis of yourself and you got to see yourself growing all right Verse 10, that you might work worthily of your heart by Shema was shot unto all pleasing. All right? That's what this truth is all about. It's saying that you might walk worthily. All right? When you're walking worthily, you're clicking on all cylinders. You're on fire. Like Yahweh shot, man. He went out throughout Judea doing his barter's business. He was handling business. The scriptures say be fervent in spirit, not slothful in business, man. He was about his father's business, man. And that's how we got to be. Let me get that passage. This is uh, Romans 12 and 11. And it reads, all right? I'm going to start at verse 10. Be kindly and affectionate one with another in brotherly love. And the way you love your brother is you teach your brother the scriptures and you show your brother how to live in his truth. All right? You teach him the ways of Yahweh Bashim Shah. In honoring and preferring one another. Not slothful in business. Our business 
is to teach our brothers. All right? Our business is to prophesy to the nations. And our Heavenly Father say, don't be slothful when doing it. But be fervent in spirit, serving your heart by Shema Shah. The way you fervent in spirit, you're growing. You're growing when you're fervent in spirit. When the spirit gets on you, you evolve, you grow. All right? And I'm going to go, let me go to his precept to prove that. This is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2. All right, we have to grow because when we come in, this is what the scripture says, as newborn babes desire sincere milk of the word. All right, when we come in, we're newborn babes sipping on Similac. All right, but are we going to stay as newborn babes? Five years later, are we still going to be a baby? No, we're going to grow up in the adolescency. All right, then we're going to become an adult. Go to, then you go to your teenagers and you become a young adult. You don't stay as a newborn baby sipping on milk you 10 years old just eating milk and baby food? You 10 years old, you're supposed to be eating whatever your, your, your parents eat. What, you, what your parents give you, you're going to eat. Y'all eating the same thing. All right? That you, might, that you may grow thereby. It's all about growing. It's all about spiritual growth in this place, man. All right? So our Heavenly Father want, want us to grow. All right? And if you don't grow and you're stagnant, all right, you sit in the marketplace uh, not doing nothing, Yahweh Bashim is going to, uh, he, he's going to get rid of you. Let me get that. Where did that, where the, where the fellows would just sit in the marketplace, stand idle. Shit, Yahweh Shah put their asses to work, man. Where is that at? Uh, might be 25. Twenty-five. Where's the scripture where it says Yahweh Shah? He, he came and they were standing idle. The fellows were standing idle in the marketplace. You see, in the most I gave us this, this 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 internet. Like I could just type in this phrase and I'm gonna find the scripture. All right. He gave us all of these tools for us to build up the uh, to build up the elect and to grow. All right. Here we go. So I, I did go to Matthew twenty. All right. It just I must have scanned over too fast. I knew it was there. All right. All right. Salakia, let me, I'm looking for the particular, uh, here we go. This is Matthew 20 and 6. And about the 11th hour, he went out and found others stand, standing idle, doing nothing. All right? He, he's talking about his servants, the prophets. All right? He, he gets pissed off when he sees you standing idle. A servant's supposed to be working. And he said unto them, why stay here all the day idle? That angers you how about Shema was shot when you're not growing. All right? And if you're other elect, he's going to make you grow. Trust me. He, 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 he smited Paul with black. Smart Paul is of the elect. He, Paul, no, it was nothing. No man could go to coerce the Paul to make him stop coming against the, the followers of Yahweh Shai and keep and killing them. He was coming after them like a fire breathing dragon. And the thing about it, he was delusional. In his mind, he thought he was serving Yahweh by Shema Shai. He thought he was right. So he was doing it with great vigor. Okay. But for what the most high knew what he put in him. So the most high had to come smite him with blindness to wake his ass up. All right. Just imagine getting smite with blindness. That that'll make you slow your ass down. All right. And when he got smitten with, by, with, with blindness, he woke up. All right? And he, he started working for Yahweh by Shema All right? As soon as he, but as soon as he regained his sight, man, he wasn't standing idle. He was getting it in. And he said to them, why you stay here all the day idle? They said to him, because no man have hired us. All right? And he said unto them, go ye also in the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that you shall receive. All right? So he told we we're, we're pruning this vineyard. Israel is that vineyard, man. The way you prune that, that vineyard is you growing this truth. 
All right, you become a husbandman. You, you, we are husbandmen, husbandry, shepherds. All right, so we prune it, we water it. Okay, you know, we putting fertilizer down. We making sure that baby healthy, man. We 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 get we loving that vineyard so it could bring forth beautiful fruit, man. And when you're not doing that, the most high get rid of your ass, man. When you when you have a vineyard and, and you got branches that grow and they don't bring forth fruit, you prune them. That's what you do. You cut them off. My mama taught me that when I was younger. My mama had a rose bed, and when when certain parts weren't growing, she'd cut it off. So that's that's what the most high does, man. We have to grow in this thing, man. If you're not growing, if you're not laboring, all right, if you're not fasting and praying, your high Bashim Awash would do away with you, man. And you can see he put the spirit on our um uh, elders to come down with a uh, you know, with with some strictly enforced commandments. That's that comes from heaven. Those commandments, that's Elder Tahar, Elder Gabar are mediums. They are oracles. Okay? That comes straight from Yahweh by Shemal Shah. They are vessels used of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Those aren't their words. That's Yahweh by Shemal Shah's words. So we have to apply ourselves, man. We have to go hard in this thing. So with that, Lord willing to sit down with edifying to the hearers, I want to give infinite honors to Yahweh by Shemal Shah. All right? Call Halai Yahweh by Shemal Shah. And I want to give dumb honors to our teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, who are worthy of their dumb honors, and salutation to my fellow laborers in Yahweh, the brethren, my Akim. Um, Shalom to you, brother. Peace and blessings to you, brothers. Kwame Yasharala, Baba Ball.